Welcome back in another video. In this channel, we explore how you can become a conscious creator of your reality, how you can master your mind and master your life. And in this video, I want to talk about the ego greatest trap, the ego greatest game that it's playing on you and how it's keeping you needy, chasing more, unhappy and ultimately miserable, always seeking for more, always seeking for something to fulfill you, make you happy, make you feel loved, make you feel important and ultimately always feeling like it's never enough. This ego trap is something that a lot of people struggle with. It's something that is so pervasive. It's something that is happening constantly in our mind. And in simple words, we can sum it up as the when then game. So let's have a look at this. The when then game is the ego greatest game. It's the ego game that keeps you in misery, that keeps you in this loop, that keeps you chasing needy, and that keeps you wanting more. Why, what is that? Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example of how the when then game is applied. When I get money, then I'll be happy, then I'll be successful, then everything will be sorted, all my problems will be taken care of, and then I'll be happy, I'll be at peace. Right? When I get that special partner, then I'll feel so loved, then everything will be okay, then my life will be so perfect. When I get these amazing things, when I go on this holiday and that thing is going to happen, it's going to change my life, it's going to be so much better, it's going to be extraordinary. When I buy that course and I learn all the strategies, then, then my business will grow, I'll be successful, everything's going to be okay, I'll make 10k a month easily and I'll be happy. You see, you can fill the gap when blah blah blah, insert your desire goal, then I'll be happy. The challenge with this is that your ego is using your desire, the things that you want, and is attaching certain qualities on getting it. Certain things that it perceives as being missing, lacking, not having right now. And certain things that you deeply want to experience, deeply want to have. And usually it's some form of emotional state. Yeah? Because the desires that we want to have, ultimately we project on those qualities like love, like feeling excited, feeling happy, feeling at peace, feeling whole, feeling one with life, so to speak. So we are craving that experience through the fulfillment of our desire. But because we feel separated from those emotions, from that state, the ego just gets in and links that, okay, so when I get that, then I can experience that, yeah? Then I'll be good, then I'll have it. But because we are in a state of separation, yeah, I am not one with life, I am not happy right now, I am not in love with life right now, I am not in love with a person right now, I don't have that love or whatever it might be, then there's a lack. I perceive the lack of that state, the lack of that situation, the lack of the things I really crave. And so when you get there, you might get a little bit of a rush. You might feel the love, feel the peace, feel the relief, feel the success. But it's only built on the illusion of that moment, of that thing that is external of you, that brings you that, that you know, relief for a moment. But then we all know, we all know, because we all experience this, that you enjoy it for a couple of hours, couple of days, maybe a month at best. And then you take that thing for granted and your ego starts to look for what's next. What's the next thing? How much more money do I need? How much more clients do I need? How much of a bigger car, bigger house, bigger thing do I need? Then I'll be happy, right? Then everything's gonna be okay, right? It has to be. And so we are on that hamster wheel, constantly seeking something because we feel lacking in the present moment right now. And so you could say that it has nothing to do with your desires or with your goals. Because we all have those and I'm all about manifesting what you want, creating your best life and achieving all of your desires, dreams and more. But on this channel, we talk a lot about your state and teachers like Dr. Jody Spenza or Neville Goddard or all these amazing teachers always tell us that it's the wish fulfilled that will bring what you want in your life the fastest, the best, but that will also create that state of being that will bring you the most fulfillment, the most happiness, the most joy, and the most love. And this is ultimately the greatest win. 
because this is ultimately what we all crave, that sense of significance, importance that comes in so many different shapes and flavor, peace of mind, love, oneness, whatever. We all want that fulfillment, that state, that emotion that comes in different ways, in different stages for all of us. But when you can realize that that state is always available to you right here, right now, in fact, it can only be available here and now, you will never be bored, you will never be achieved through external people or through external winds or through external conditions. Those things might contribute, might give you the illusion, might you know, allow you to connect to those emotions, but they will fade away because they will always be entangled to something external of you. And when it's entangled to people, things and places, there's so much that needs to go right for you to get a little bit of that feeling. And so it's highly disempowering because your nature, the purpose, I believe, of being in this place, in this pretty reality right now, is to realize that if I can create my reality, that means that I can remember that I am anything I need to be right here, right now. I can be whole, healed, magnificent, happy, joyful, in love with my life right now, as I am, where I am. And that, in fact, is the key. And that is, in fact, what will allow you to, you know, stop that illusion of separation and, and kind of dissolve the ego over time. But it's also what will bring about all the manifestation that you want in your life with ease as a natural byproduct. Because think about this for a moment. If you truly seek for fulfillment, maybe that what you really want is to feel fulfilled in your life, to feel in love with your life, to feel like, man, I'm living the best possible life I can, then what if today, right here, right now, you feel so full? You feel so full of love, you feel so full of life, so full of joy and peace and happiness right here, right now. Then notice that in that moment of fullness, you don't want that thing anymore. It's so interesting, right? And it kind of feels like almost sometimes it can freak us out because I feel like, oh, no, 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 but I still want it. <laughs> I still want it. I still want the money, the, the girl, the, this, and the car and the house. And then we're back in lacking because we feel like, again, this is how fast the ego can creep in. Right? Because you feel like if I connect to that feeling right now, I might give up the desire. And then if I give up the desire, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> and then there's that fearful panic mode and the, the ego is back in control. But this is lack of awareness, lack of understanding, lack of knowledge. Because if you truly live in the end desire, if you truly live in that high vibe, in that fullness of life, your life will become a reflection of your state of mind. It has to be. And it might take a while for it to adjust, readjust based on how fast you transition, right? There might be a time lapse. But if you start to live in what you seek right now, meaning that if you want to experience love through a relationship, be in love with yourself right now, be in love with others right now, and see just how fast your relationship around others, with others, will start to change. If you want to experience more abundance, feel whole right now, feel full right now, feel like there's enough for you, for all, for everybody all the time. And you see just how fast you start to generate more abundance. So that's the thing I want to share in this video. Break the ego game by asking yourself this simple question. How would I feel if I already had that thing that I want? What is my end game? What is it that I'm trying to get? What would that do for me? And usually you'll get a state, you'll get an answer for an emotional word. And then ask yourself, am I really separated from that? Or am I only lacking this because I haven't given it to myself yet? Because if you can start giving to yourself by embodying that state now, you will by default start to see it appear in the mirror of life and people around you. That's the law, that's the way it is. What you give is always what you get. So the benefits of that is that you're no longer chasing something to make you happy, but you can go through your life generating those experiences because of who you are. 
and you'll see just how much easier you start to have synchronicities, ideas, and things that comes into place by, by, you know, by a byproduct of who you are. And that is the fastest way to be in a state of flow and to manifest easily what you want. But it's also a powerful way to escape all that misery, all that lack, all that illusion that your ego is creating in your mind. So I hope you take some time to reflect on this video and to start to live in that end state now, to embody that state now and to watch what happened. Let me know what you think down in the comment, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. As always, take some time to share and subscribe on this channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will see you next time. Be well.